Hey guys, it is one o'clock and it's a beautiful Sunday and it is a beautiful Sunday too because it is Facebook Live and a piece of you. Hey, Lorena's on. There must be something you're looking for. And um, it is just a beautiful, beautiful day. Hey, Nancy, I think my temperature gauge on my car said something like 28. It was like a heat wave. Hey, Mary. Hey, Carol. Good to see you. Harriet. Oh, you're new. We haven't seen your name. Um, if, as we're going along, you like a project or something like that, give me a thumbs up or a heart or something like that. It always gives me an idea of what kind of projects to do more of and things like that. Hey, Donna and Mercina. Cindy's on. Cindy, when I call you tomorrow, if you buy anything today, I can help you with uh, socks for your husband. Just I need to know what color and I can show you some pictures. Hey, Sheila. It's a wonderful day. We have socks, we have ponchos, we have shawls, we have shawl pins, we have cowls, sock yarn, blankets. Hey, Beth. Oh, you're back for more. There you go. And Beth Paling is on. Mari is on. We got lots of people on. Yay. So Barb's on. So Marilyn's all set. We have new, you might have noticed in our sneak peek, hey Karen, that we have new little um, markers so you know what our um, project numbers are. Hey Beth, and I also want to tell you I have hidden four little secret gifts. So we'll see if anybody gets them today. I take bribes. <laughs> hey, Pat. Hey, Mary. Nope, Marcy's not working today. We have Julie here. Um, she has been helping her mother-in-law in Ohio, so she hasn't been here for a couple weeks, so she is back. Hey, Sheila. We're going to wait just a couple minutes. Um, we are starting to get some of our spring yarns in just so you know, um, but they're coming in really sporadic. So I'm getting like one color or three colors, but I'm supposed to get 12, you know, that kind of thing. Hey, Deb and Jody. So we're, um, we're not gonna show those till we get all the colors in. So um, yeah, we're really excited. Hi, Linda, good to see you. All right. I know, I know. It's one day closer to spring, Sheila. One day closer. All right. We're going to wait just a second. And then we are going to get started. I don't want to have to go back again. Um, okay. Now, the way we work this is if you are watching and you're new, I know there's a couple new names on here. You are going to tell me that you want color number seven and your phone number. Um, and then what we do is we call you on Monday. There's two of us that call, Joyce and I call. It's a 989 area code. Please answer. Um, if you want to um, us to call you early, please put that in your comment. Just put early after your phone number. Also, if you want a copy of a pattern, please just put pattern in your comment too. Um, that just helps us so that we have enough copies when we call you. Um, we can get this everything shipped out right away. Hey, Sherry and Linda. Good to see you guys. And Sharon is on. Beth's on. Good. All right. We're going to get started. If at all you're watching this as a replay, um, feel free to message me or put a comment in the thing. If we have anything left, I can let you know. Okay. So we're going to start off. Our sneak peek is the same order as this. We're starting off with the online pre-made socks. These are 75% wool, 25% nylon. They are machine washable. Five, eight and 18. If you see a thumbs up, it means that we got your order. 
34 and 8. 8. Oh, 8 is a winner. Linda got a winner. Linda Yinger. 34. I don't have a 34. Linda, I'm not sure what 34 is. So we'll come back. Um, Nancy, number eight is gone. Number two for Mary Pratt. If you see a thumbs up after your comment, it means that we got your comment. Hey, Heather, good to see you. Linda Yinger's on. Nancy's on. Okay, these were, the reason people are answering so quickly is they watched the, the preview yesterday. Um, and so I have, of this size, it's about an eight and a half, nine. You did, you want a tape measure. Yay, Linda. Um, so that, there's still four more, three more gifts out there. So I have color one. I have color two, I have color six, I have color seven, and color ten. So, Carol, if you like any of those colors, let me know, because um, I know you're watching. So, yeah, we just thought we'd do something fun and put a few little gifts in there. Those are for a men's seven, seven and a half, ladies eight and a half, nine, that type of thing. These are $15. I have one that is a size women's 10 and a half to 12, men's 9 to 10, um, and that is color 11. I only have one in that size. And this one is sizes 9 and a half to 10 for women, 8 to 8 and a half for men, give or take. Um, and I have 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, and 21. So I have those colors left. These are $15. They are the same kind of yarn that we sell in a ball that you can knit. And what I was telling people yesterday is what you do is you take the wrapper off, you take the little thing off, you put them in the bottom of your bag, you let them sit there for a couple weeks, then you pull one out and go, oh, I'm so glad I'm done with that sock. And then you uh, wait another week or so, and then you pull the other one out, and everybody thinks you knit them yourself. Um, they are machine wash. I do put mine in the dryer. And um, two lang blue and black. Black and white. Black and white and blue. I need two of each. The Lang blue. Yeah. Um, Sandy, we normally have you only comment on what we're talking about right now, but we pulled that. Um, I do put these in the washing machine and the dryer, and so they're good for those people who you don't know if they're going to do that. They do have a little bit of elastic in the cuff, it's not a tight, tight cuff or anything like that. They're very comfortable socks. So we'll come back to those. Um, hi, Heather. Hi, Kathy. Hey, Shirley. Good to see you guys. And if you do get a thumbs up on your comment, it means that we got it. All right. Now I have to go to my cheat sheet. And I have the Gleamer Poncho which is kind of like the easy folded poncho, only it has a beautiful little lace edge there to it. It's very pretty. And it's using DK weight, and we decided to use the Fiber Company Erin Moore Light and purple. And these are $52. The pattern is on Ravelry for $6. We're happy to get it for you. You are going to start with a size 4 needle only because it's garter stitch in the beginning. 17. Uh, 17. Oh, 17 is a sock. Um, hi, Cheryl. Good to see you. And... Uh, let's see. I did read the pattern yesterday. It's done in one big strip, and then you're going to sew it up. And most people decided that they liked the, the small size. Um, thanks, 
Beth. We got you for a pattern. Um, gold. And because the larger sizes, it does come in two different, three different sizes. The larger sizes tend to get wonky for people. So that's why we didn't do those. Um, these are $52. It's two skeins of Aramore Light. It is a blend of fine merino wool, cashmere, and silk. It is a hand wash. Um, let's see. Linda wants teal. Perfect. You guys listen to my comments. You're giving me names. Perfect. Hi, Joanne. Just logged in. We're doing the Gleamer poncho. It's done in one uh, strip, and then you're going to sew right here. And it is, um, this yarn is wonderful. It is lightweight. It looks, it has a little tweedy um, look to it. We have a sweater here made with it. This is the purple. And it's nothing offensive. It's just a real nice, just adds a little texture, a little bit of depth to your knitting. And let's see, $52. Let me go through the colors. I have purple. I have wheat. I have gold. I have dark gray. I still think you'll see the pattern. I have teal. It is a true teal. Hi, Julie. Hi, Barb. I have navy. I have red. I sold one of these yesterday. Um, I have green. And it's a pretty shamrock green. It's very pretty for spring. Fuchsia would be great for spring. Um, cream. Light gray. And that one's really pretty. It's got shades of cream and gray in it. And then I have denim. And two, you want two cold ponchos. Got it. And let's see, a purple one. Perfect. Everyone, this is like our unsung hero for this yarn. Um, anyone who has used it loves it, but everybody walks by it, and I don't know why. Pattern level, it's if you can knit in pearl, and I think it is written pattern and a chart, either one. I think you can probably do it because it's probably just some yarn overs and some uh, pearls put in certain spots. So she does um, tell you what to do for every row. Hi, Barb. So we have denim. I have one purple left, two wheat, dark gray, teal. Teal would be pretty for spring, too. I have navy. That's always my favorite. Red. And the red has little flecks of other colors in it. It's kind of a fun color. Um, so does the fuchsia. See, the fuchsia has some other colors in there. I have green. I have cream. And I have light gray. And if you like a rectangle shawl, this would be beautiful for a rectangle shawl. If you do want to make a larger size, I potentially have um, extra skeins except for in the yellow. I do not have any extra skeins in the yellow. It is a pay for pattern on Ravelry. It is $6 and it is, we can get it for you or you can um, get it yourself, either one. We're happy to print it out for you and get it for you, okay? So that is the Gleamer shawl. It is done in one big piece and then you fold it over and sew. So, um, and that is a very flattering look for a um, poncho. And I think it's just really, really pretty. Really pretty. This is going to be a lightweight yarn. It's a DK weight. Um, fuchsia and green. Perfect. So I think it would be fun to knit too. So, and you don't have to, you know, I give you suggestions for patterns. You don't ever have to make what I'm suggesting. You can find something else to make, but I thought this was a great project for this one, and I did look it up on Ravelry, and a lot of people had um, 
made this poncho with this yarn so or some version of a tweedy kind of yarn and i think it's pretty all right we're gonna let everybody catch up our next one that we're doing is the orford and this one is a fun one uh, remember she doesn't have shoulders she doesn't have arms this little mannequin lady here um, so I did my best to um, put it on her it looked really good on the hanger actually um, 130 bark 33130 right here there's only one do you find it okay this one is, uh, the pattern is included, and this kit is $52. It uses a US 8 circular, I would say a 32. Um, it's four skeins of Barocco Ultra Wool, which is machine washable, and um, low temp dryer. I have 3305, 3314. You will get four skeins in your kit. If you only see one skein out, it means that's all I kit. I have 154 denim. Good choice. Look at everybody's telling us that they need a pattern. This is fun. Um, 3325, 3327, which is a beautiful rusty orange. Um, 3330, 3331. 3343. Three. This one is more of a shamrock green, especially if you put it next to the olive, you can tell. Um, let's see. 3345, three, which is a grape color. 3361 three, one is called kale. It is a teal color. It's very pretty. A lot of you chose that for your building blocks blanket. 33108, three, oh, which is my light gray. 33113 is a dark gray. I do not have the color that the sample is made in. I don't think we carry that color. Uh, 33164. You will in your kit you will get four skeins. Um, we only have one on the table, otherwise we'd have our piles, you know, up to my chin. Um, the pat it includes um four skeins in a pattern and it's $52. 33156 is a real pretty royal cobalt blue. 33154 is denim. That one's pretty. 33152 is one of my favorite colors. It's a heathery color with kind of a greenish undertone. 33151 is beetroot, which is kind of a Pretty cranberry, dark cranberry color. 33125 is spruce. Um, it is a chart. I am going to tell you that, Sheila, it is a chart. I don't believe it's a hard chart. You can always write your chart out if you need to, but I don't think it's very difficult. Um, 33119 is a turquoise. And I think it's coming up turquoise, yes. And then 33115 is a uh, chocolate brown. The reason, one of the reasons that we picked this yarn for the pattern is one, because it's washable and it's freezing cold outside. And so if you're going to wear this around your house or something, it's good because you can always, if you spill your dinner on it or your coffee or something like that, you can wash it easily. Okay. It's not a hand wash, anything like that. This is the pattern on her. Um, you can wear it the other way also. Hey, Sharon and Mary, Mari, how are you? Um, it takes four skeins. It is a chart. Do you want to pull one of these out, Marilyn? Marilyn, just put them all in sleeves. So... You, you do have a chart, but it's just knits and pearls. So that's all that is. Um, and so it's not too hard. And you could always write it out if you had to. So that's just the abbreviations. Um, but yeah, so that is the Orford 
sh shawl. Now, what I have is, the reason this is also kind of put on kind of funny, is we put our shawl pins on sale. These are the Bonnie Bischoff handmade shawl pins. They are made out in Maine, and they're beautiful. And each one, they're, she uses, I'm reading the back here, leading edge polymer clay. Um, and... Langbrights. She wants two of those. Um, I have these. They are were $45. We have them at $38. And I have this pretty jade green, which would be pretty on some of those colors. Um, I have granite, which is this dark gray. I have, no, they're okay. I have cream and black. You could just call cream. These are all handmade by Bonnie and her husband, and they are so labor intensive that they have decided to discontinue them. So that's why we're showing them today, but we can't get these anymore. Jade, cream, and granite, and I think they'd be pretty on any kind of shawl. They're not very heavy either. You know how some are super, super heavy and they just like, Hold down your knitting. These are not heavy, but they look heavy. Um, so that's nice too, and that's something to take into consideration. All right. So I know we're going to have a little bit of a feeding frenzy here on the next section. Oh, a granite and a cream. Good choice, Carol. Um, I think you'll like those. All right. And a cream for Mary. The cream are now gone. I have granite. I personally like the granite. Um, but I think the green one would be very pretty for uh, spring, you know. And the granite one is very pretty too. So those are on sale today for $38. They were $45. So, hey, Pam. And Beth is on. Okay, the next one we're going to do, I am going to warn you, it is by whatever comes in to tech support first, okay? So even though you think you were the first one to do it, you may not be because um, we go by whatever comes in with tech support. And she will give you a thumbs up if you got that color, okay? So, we have a whole bunch of, all right, so we have a C, okay, they're coming in hot and heavy. Okay, Marilyn, I need you to pull black, white, and C. These are $10. Yeah, take one of those, a C, there you go. Uh, I need a silver, light blue, and gray. Uh, for gray, our, she's got silver, light blue. I'm going to say that one's charcoal. Uh, I think that's C. Acid, aquamarine, and chestnut. I am going to ask you guys to try to give us the names that they are. I have charcoal. I have emerald. And it is a really cool emerald color. Um, I have acid, which really kind of looks like acid. I have Lang Brights, which is going to stripe. These are $10. Um, I have C. I have silver. I have denim. Huh? Light blue would be C, and gray would be charcoal. Uh, Linda Newcomb wanted emerald and acid. Uh, Linda, somebody else came in with Kara Kara. Sorry. We tried to wait for you. Um, I have lavender, which is like a dusty purple. I have a chestnut, which is a pretty rust color. Oh, two acid. Mari, I only have one acid. Is that okay? 
And I don't have a sky. I'm thinking you mean sea. Oh, don't worry about the pieces of paper. Lavender. And a black and white. The Kara Kara has gone. Lang Blues. Silver is gone. Lavender I do have. So, Pat, I do not have silver. I do have charcoal, I believe, left. C and acid. Those are both gone, Mary. Now, I am, I am just kind of saying that I have these, but we're going to go by tech support regardless. Um, so don't go by my words. Um, a gray. I don't have any yellow. Deb. Nope, Linda, I got you. Sea acid and aquamarine. Uh, Mary, I have, unless you're repeating yourself, I have an aquamarine, but I do not have sea or acid left. That can go acid, I do not have, Deb Gerard. Lang bright. Sea silver, I do not have. Carol, I do not have acid sea or silver. Denim, I do not have denim. Charcoal. Sea is gone. Chestnut. So Cheryl, I do not have sea. Um, I don't know. I put C down. C is gone. Chestnut and Lang Blues. White and black. Um, all of you people who are giving us your colors, we also need your phone numbers. Especially if you're new. Phyllis wanted a lavender. And I think I'm already caught up. Aquamarine. Okay. So I believe... <laughs> I believe this is what I have left. But we have to give her a minute. What are you going to make with this yarn? Hey, if you didn't want the preview... If you didn't watch the preview, you don't know. We are making the ribbed mohair cowl. Which is, uses a US 6 um, 16 inch circular. It does not get any bigger or smaller. It's just this has been hanging on a peg for a while. It's basically knit five rows, purl five rows. And you do this until you're almost out of yarn and then you cast off. Based on my personal experience, I would um, cast on and cast off with a larger needle. So I would use a seven or an eight to cast on and cast off. Um, it does tend to get a little snug when you cast off for sure. Um, those yarns are $10. Excuse me. And it's a simple, super fun gift. Easy, something to have on hand. It's nice to wear because it's really lightweight. This yarn is beautiful because it is um, a silk mohair blend. We are just discontinuing our Debbie Bliss line because it's no longer available. So that's in the Lang Milliflory, Milli Calori Super Kid. We are discontinuing that. So that's why those are on sale. And then we put some of our LRA Silky Kids on sale too, just because we had them. So, and I'm just babbling until tech support gets caught up. Everybody was just boom, 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 boom. Um... So I knew we'd have kind of a feeding frenzy. And so I'm going to go back here and say we have three jade shawl pins. Mary Hall, did you want one or two C's? You put it in twice. So we didn't know if you needed one or two. Right, there's no acid left. What I believe I have left is some chestnut, some Lang Blues, I'm going to put this name back on it, and some Lang Black, Gray, and White. The Langs are going to stripe. 
Um, and they're very pretty. Very nice yarn. Um, it is a mohair blend. But it's not the old-fashioned mohair um, of a million years ago. Um, where it used to have little things fly up in your face and, you know, you felt like you were eating mohair. That is not the case um, with this yarn. It's really, really nice. So, Lang Black and White. So I have one little Lonely Lang Blues, I believe, left. <laughs> Yes. They they kind of cleaned up after that. After that little Okay, Cheryl Cheryl Lockhart, you may have Lang Blues. I'm not sure because I'm not sure if I have any left. I was trying to keep up with the comments. This chestnut is a really pretty color. Um it's kind of a fall autumn color. Um I think it's really pretty. And then we have the Lang Black, Gray, and White. Okay, Carol, I do not have any blues left, but I do have the Black, Gray, and White. Mary Hill is looking for the Black and White. So Mary, did you want two C's? Did she respond to us? Okay. Okay, yep. So I believe I have some... Uh, oh! Yes, I think we did, Phyllis, get you a black, gray, and white. Um, yeah. Oh, she's really far behind. Let's... let's walk away from that and let's go back over here to the socks and see if we can find a pair of socks for somebody somebody was just mentioning socks and mary i have some socks i have these are the small ones pat i believe you did but we will let you know you will see a thumbs up next to your comment if you got that color okay and then i'll go back once we figure out if we have any left, okay? So don't worry about it. Uh, take a chestnut off, please. Um, okay, so I have these nice, wonderful wool blend socks. They're wool with 25% nylon. They wear like iron. I wear them around. And, okay, write Mary Hill on that one because it's going to take tech support a little while. She's had a little breather, and so... Carol, Phyllis would like color six. So bring your pen over, and we're going to put Phyllis's name on this pair. Yeah, we have it. Uh, Nancy, you did not get one because Mary Hill got one. Um, but I do have a couple pairs of seven. I have some a 10. I have a 2. These are very nice. They go in your boots. It doesn't really matter what the color they are. I have a whole bunch of really ugly ones at home, and nobody cares. Um, so these are really pretty. They're $15 on sale. It is going to stay cold. Put Cheryl on that one. Put Cheryl B. Yeah, Cheryl with a C and a B next to her name. And a 7. This is going to go to Sharon M., And this one's going to go to Mary Hill. I'm writing names on these just in case. Uh, I have no idea, Cindy, which ones you have. Um, we're just trying to get tech support caught up. Pam P. All right. So in the... Sorry. Um, uh, Karen, we do not, oh, we do have an 11 left. Now that is a big size, just so you know. That is a size, ladies, 10 and a half to 12, men's 9 to 10 plus. So, Karen Nicholson. 
Now I do have, oh, you have five and eight. I don't know if you can quite find it. Eight. Where's eight and five? So if anyone, Cindy is willing to give up one pair of these socks, so either a five or an eight, potentially. Hey, Louise, good to see you. Pam would like 20, Pam Pippis. All right, so I have 12, that's my favorite color. I have 13. I have 14, the five she would give up. So we do have a, a color yeah, five. Yeah, yeah. No, no, oh. that was a previous one. Okay. We do have a color five if anyone's interested. Oh, Karen Nichols, no, that, don't worry about it. It's already taken care of. Put a Karen on that one, okay. on the five. Thank you, Cindy. Um, I do have these, these are larger, um, same type of sock. Sorry, Mary, you were a little slow. We gave them to Karen. This is a this is a hard hard kind of Facebook Live because everybody wants the same colors. We have twelve. We have thirteen. We have fourteen. We have fifteen. We have sixteen. We have nineteen, twenty, and twenty-one. So these are the pre-made socks from online. They don't offer these to us anymore, so that's why they're on sale. Um, and because it's freezing cold out, and I thought everybody should have some nice warm feet. So, and we put names on the socks. So we're just trying to figure out if you have any mohair left. So when you get done with the mohair, let us know. Do you have any mohair left? Poor Julie didn't know. She... How many? One. Okay, so this is what we have left. We have one chestnut. Oh, can you pull a 14 and put Cheryl B? Six of the lens? Okay, because we only have three here. We must have been taking them off faster than we thought. So we have six of the black and white. And we have one of the chestnut. They didn't name it the way they were supposed to. And we will double check all the comments after this is over. Okay. So that's the scoop. Chestnut for Cheryl. All right, so I just have black, gray, and white. If we do have anything left when we call you tomorrow, you can always ask us, hey, did you have a Orford shawl in color 33115? And we're happy to check and see and pull it for you. Um, sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. It's not always a good idea to wait. Um, okay. Caught up? Okay, now we're going to do an easy one. We are going to do the Stitch Together January Sock Yarn. And I'm wondering if I put this over here. Yes, it looks a little yellower. Okay. Well, we put people's names on them, too. Um, Lynn Meadum wants one of these. This is the January color. Oh, wait. Did that one have anything on it? Nope. Okay. I'm, I'm wondering where the rest of my little gifts are. Um, you showed me. I can't remember. I can't remember either, but I guess if, if nobody gets them, then nobody gets them. So this is, we are participating in all 12 months of the Stitch Together month, Color of the Month Club. And we get, um, we get about nine skeins uh, every month of the Color of the Month. Now, this one may look like it's going to stripe, but it's not. And we really wanted to um, have 
it knit up, but we wanted to be able to sell it to you guys. So um, we love her yarn. It is 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. It's 463 yards. And once this color is gone, it's gone. I don't believe we can order it again. It is $33 and it's just fun. I think if you were to do it in a shawl and put some black, some white, some grays, whatever, it would be cool. I personally was thinking of a hat because then you'd see me when I was walking. Um, but I think it's really, really pretty. And it has been very popular in the store. So it is a bright yellow. It looks like a light yellow, but it's actually a... Oh, there we go. Now yeah. you can see it. It's, it's a little more neon than I thought it was going to be, but it is. And this is the true color of it when I put it against this background. Sometimes the tables change the colors a little bit. So, um, so that is the January sock yarn. Okay. It's 33. We will have it until it's gone. And which the way people have been buying it will be very soon. The last one, kit that we have, hi Ingrid, thanks for watching, um, is the Noro to the Point um, blanket. It is a mitered square. They did it in strips. Personally, I suggest just picking up and doing the next one next to it instead of doing strips and sewing it together. But you can sew it together if you really like sewing. I don't like sewing, so um, that's a given. It is, the pattern calls for four skeins of noro ito which is 100 percent wool and it is a wonderful yarn it is a hand wash yarn uh lay flat to dry the blanket itself is going to be 42 by 53 there is no chart it is a garter mitered square thing so there's no purling involved and Marilyn, do you know what happened there? Marilyn is getting so I'm good. She knows what I'm looking for. <laughs> um, it's four skeins of Edo. They only give you gauge in that each one of these mitered squares is nine inches square. That's all they tell you. So if yours is a little smaller, I'd take it out and use a bigger needle. If you don't like the feel of it, I'd take it out and get a bigger needle. Um, Joyce and Ruth are addicted to mitered squares, so they say it's super easy. If you have the heart blanket at home, it's even easier than that. Um, I think it's really fun. It was $180. Today, it's $165. $165, that's like almost getting one skein for free. Um... The pattern is $5 on Ravelry, but I told you guys yesterday it was free. So I will include the pattern. <coughs> Excuse me, I will pay for your pattern. The color in the picture, we do have that color, which is surprising. Um, that is color two, color two. And that's very, very pretty. Um, we also have color 32, which has more pinks in it. We have color 15, which is purples and greens. And some tans and creams and grays and all that good stuff. <coughs> Excuse me, I had a frog in my throat. I have color 22, which if you like neutrals, this would be beautiful. And that is color 22. And I have color one, which has more blues and greens in it. It's going to be similar to color two, but a little bit more on the blues, purples, and greens. When I looked it up on Ravelry, the pattern calls for four. A lot of people used an extra skein for the edging. It does have a crochet edge on it. I have not made this blanket, so I don't know if it's absolutely necessary to have a crochet edge. What I suggest, I have two of my colors, color one and color 22, I do have an extra skein. What I suggest doing is make your blanket, bring it in, let's see what we have that will look great for the edging if you do want to put an edging on it. Um, it won't matter if we have the same dye lot, all of these are the same dye lot. It won't matter if we have um, the same dye lot because Noro is such a fun yarn, it really doesn't matter. Um, this yarn I've worked with several times 
and it is a ton of yards. It's 440 yards on a skein. Um, it is an Aaron weight, so that's why you're using an, a 9 or a 10 needle. So it should knit up really fast also. So we have to the point blanket. I have color 32, I have color 15, I have color 2, I have color 22, and I have color 1. Okay, so, and those are on sale today for 165 And it's a great looking blanket. I think it's really pretty. So that's our scoop on that. Now we do have a few colors of, can we scroll on your sheet? And we're gonna go through the list and see what we have left. So for socks, I believe I have 12, 13, 15, 16, 19, 20, and 21. Okay, I do have these left. They are the larger size. They are machine washable. Okay. I have those left and they're fairly indestructible. You can put them in the washer and the dryer and they're $15 a piece. You can't knit them for that. So just thought I'd ch tell you that. All right, we do have some Gleamer ponchos still available. Color 20 for socks for Mary Hill. Um, I have the Gleamer poncho, which is 13 also. That's okay, she's caught up. Um, and yeah, so I have denim, I have purple, I have one purple left, I have wheat, I think this one's really pretty, I don't know why anyone hasn't gotten it, pardon me, yes, I have three dark grays, that's okay, oh, I have four, I can't see, I have two teals, I have four navies, I have four reds, I have three, four greens, four, there's a piece of paper, I have two fuchsia, that one looks like a party in a ball, I have three, four cream, and I have four light gray, okay, and these are... $52. You're going to use a size 4 or 5 needle. The 4 is just really for the garter edge and the, the garter at the end. 150 red. And Jody is a winner. Jody, you won. You got a piece of U stitch marker. Yay, Jody. Perfect. I knew there was another gift out there. I think there's one more out there, too. So I have those colors left for the Gleamer poncho. I think this will be great in the spring to wear. So it's a perfect time to knit it right now while it's cold. Yay, Jody! All right, I have the Orford shawl, which is made out of ultra wool. It's 72 across, 31 inches down. Great, thank you, Donna. We will... Uh, Put that on your sheet. We have lots of colors left of this one. We have 3305, we have 3314, 3325, 3327, 3330, say that fast, 3331, 43, 45, 61, I can say that because we don't have socks with those numbers. 108, 113, how much is it? It is, I love having Marilyn here, she's great. <laughs> the pattern is included and it is $52. Hey Brenda, good to see you, we haven't seen you in a couple weeks. It is one, I have 164, I have 156, I have 154, it is a chart, it doesn't look hard. 152, I do have, new pattern holders in and I have the less expensive just magnet boards if anyone needs those 
I have 151, let us know when we call you tomorrow. 125, 119, which is a pretty turquoise, and 33115, which is a chocolate brown, which would be very pretty. And that's the chart, it's not hard, it's pretty easy. So, um, all right, so that is our scoop for there. If you are watching this, in a replay, you can ask us, you can ask me if I have a color left. I may or may not. It looks to be that I only have one color left for the mohair ribbed cowl. And I have the black, gray, white combo. Um, I have six skeins of it left. So you could make something with six skeins. There is, how many yards in one of these? I don't know. Uh, 175 meters, so about 200 yards, and those are ten dollars. Color three of mohair. I only have Lang left, Brenda. I only have this color left because we're going through the what's left. Oh, three skeins of black, gray, and white. Got it. So now I have three skeins left of Lang, black, gray, and white. This is going to stripe this mohair. It would be very pretty. And um, we picked a pattern that's super easy. It's a great gift because at 10 bucks, how can you lose? It's always nice to have gifts in your drawer sometimes when people show up at holidays or you have a last minute gift you need. Pardon me? Yep. All right, I have a couple, I have four skeins left of the Stitched Together Smooth Sock in January's color. There, now the glare isn't on it. And this one is grays, blacks, and this beautiful yellow. It is not going to stripe, even though it looks like it might. It is not going to stripe. It'd be cool if it did, but she doesn't do stripe yarn. And that is our favorite Stitched Together a little dye shop out of Iowa and that one is 33 and then we have the to the point blanket kits left and these are we're 180 they are now on sale for 165 there's four skeins of Edo I am picking up the price of the pattern because I told you guys I would yesterday I forgot that it was a pay for it is, I have color 32, it's four skeins of Edo. I have 15, I have color two, which is what the picture is. Very bright and cheerful. Uh, yes, this blanket is super easy. Um, and Joyce can give you any kind of helpful hints on mitered squares. So um, she makes a ton of mitered square blankets very easy so color two is the one in the picture color 22 is a beautiful neutral and color one has more blues greens and reds in it so very pretty i think you guys would like it i think you're missing out on a really easy fast blanket um i like Edo because when you block it it gets lofty it gets airy um 22 for Brenda yeah well Brenda we're gonna ask you if you want the fifth skein of that um, some people used it the the kit only includes sorry I'm walking around um, I forget I have the phone in my hand uh, some people um, asked for the extra ball oh you do want the extra ball got it perfect so I have the brights left I have color one I have color two, I have color 15, and I have color 32. So we'll wait just a couple minutes because everybody seems to be still on. Uh, we forgot to discuss when our next Facebook Live would be. Can we do it in two weeks? Okay. Yeah. We're probably 15. 
We are probably going to do it not next Sunday, but the following Sunday. And I think that would be really fun. Um, is 33113. Let's see. It is. It is called Cracked Pepper. And it is a dark... Oh, let me get it in a good spot. There, it's a... Eh. It's a coming up yellow, but it's not. It's gray. It's dark gray. It's very, very pretty. And I still think the pattern would show up in the dark gray. Would you like that one, Cheryl? We'd be happy to sell that to you. She would. Look at that. Um, so did we do a pretty good job on our kits, guys? Did we have fun? Did we find some good projects? Um, I hope so. Give me some love. Let me know that you like it. Um, if you're watching this as a repeat, please feel free to message me directly on uh, Piece of You or leave a mess, a comment on this video. And then that, oh, look at all the love I'm getting. I love this. Um, no, I don't have the sample color. I am all out of that color. The closest thing I would have would be oat, chocolate brown, or spruce. Spruce has more of a green tint. So, especially when you put it next to brown. Um, I do have a light gray, though, if you like light gray. Um, thanks, guys. Um... Yeah, so I have already some great ideas for the next couple. Um, hopefully we're going to get in our yarn that we're supposed to get in when we get it in. And um, we'll go from there. As always, when we call you tomorrow, we will call you from a 989 area code. Please answer. One of the numbers will be 892-6400. Have I looked up what the other phone number is? No. Um, I, again, I apologize, but it'll be a 989. And what we do is we call you, we take your credit card information, we charge you, we have someone here to do shipping right away, and it goes out in the mail as soon as we can, either tomorrow or Tuesday. And we do not keep your credit card information. Um, we don't have time for that, nor would we have any idea how to do that. So, um, just in case you're new and you don't know our service. So we do have two of the Lang black, gray, and white mohairs left. They're kind of lonely. I always like to point out the loneliness. Um, and so when we call you, if you have thought about it and went, you know, I really should have gotten that poncho, please ask us. We'll let you know if we have it, and we'll go from there. Thank you all for watching. We will see you again in two weeks. Um, if we do a pop-up in between, we will let you know that ahead of time, and we'll go from there. Talk to you later. Bye.